Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up or love their tech. And this video is gonna show you how to um, download the beta version of Samsung's new uh, user interface update, and which they've dubbed um, Samsung One UI. Uh, Samsung One UI, again, is um, their update to the way the phone looks. So that's what UI stands for, user interface. It's an update on how all this is gonna look and operate. It's basically similar to how Apple updates their iOS from 11.2 to 11.0 this to 12, iOS 12, iOS 12.1, things like that. Basically it's the same thing. Um, Samsung doesn't update as often as Apple. Apple updates a whole lot. And I already know the reason of that. They update because of jailbreakers, mainly um, hackers who jailbreak phones, they find exploits in the operating system, which allows you to jailbreak. Um, you don't have to jailbreak on a Samsung phone, phone you are rooted. Um, and those are for older phones, you can't really root newer phones from uh, carriers, such as T-Mobile, Verizon, they've, uh, like the bootloader so you can't root anymore you can only root on an internet international version but like i said um apple they update their ios a whole lot to add new features things like that so you're gonna see one from apple pretty much every two weeks every three weeks every month you know it's like i said it's pretty often you don't find very often uh, updates to the ui or user interface on android because they're, you know, they just said, hey, this is how it is, you know, get used to it. If you don't like it, whatever, buy some icons, get some wallpaper, change it up a little bit. But other than that, this is user interface that you're gonna get and stick with it, whatever. But they finally, or uh, Android, owned by Google, um, finally released a new user interface, because I guess, they needed to because this has been like this for a long time. Time to freshen things up. So the beta version of Android P, and again, Samsung One UI is based on Google's Android P. Um, the one that was released before P was called Android Oreo, or Android 8 Oreo. So this one is the newest one. And like I said, it's only in beta. Beta meaning you, you can test it out until the full version is released to the public. So this is only gonna be available for those who uh, sign up and register to use the beta. So again, this video is gonna show you how to do that. So I already have my phone already set up to use the beta. And that is through the software update. As you can see right here, it is ready to go. So I am going to install it as soon as I'm done with this video. But again, I wanna show you how you can do it yourself or how you can get it on and get it all set up for yourself, download it. So what you have to do um, in order to get the beta, you have to get a certain app on your phone called Samsung Plus. And icon looks like this and that's the name of it. So you type it in here. So, and I got all this information from, you know, doing my little research, you know, reading a couple of articles and looking at YouTube videos for those who uh, have the beta version already. So, I've done that, you know, downloaded the app. However, um, a lot of uh, articles and videos did not tell you that you needed a certain version of Samsung Plus. So, what that means is, the version that's here in the Google Play Store, which is version 10.21.2.10, excuse me, this one is not the correct version. because um, I've already downloaded it, you know, looked on the app to see if there was a beta um, to register for it, and it was not on here. So what you need to do is download the latest beta version of Samsung Plus. And you can't get it in the Google Play Store, you gotta get it from your trusted computer. 
and I'll show you how to do that. So in order for you to get the beta version of Samsung Plus, you have to go to uh, this site called APK Mirror. You just type in APK Mirror on Google and you should be able to get to the site. Um, you know you're at the right one when it's an orange uh, bar on the top. And what you want to do is go to the search bar and type in Samsung Plus. Tap on search. Actually, that was a search. My bad. Press enter. And then Samsung, the Samsung Plus app will appear. Well, the ABKs where you can download. So they have a whole lot of ABKs. You want to tap on the very top one, which is the 11.2.1.0 uh, beta. So let me go back. Don't tap on the name. You tap on the download arrow. When you tap on the download arrow, it'll show you see available ABKs. The ABKs are your apps. And what you want to do is um, scroll from the first box and go to the second box where it says download and uh, click on the number 11.2.1.0. When you do that, you'll get this uh, box that says download APK. And if you're blocking ads, you gotta wait a couple of seconds like I have to do because I block ads. Yeah, that's what I do. Oops. One more second, boom, ready to go. So when you um, wait a couple of seconds if you're blocking ads, if you don't block ads, you can just uh, click on download APK. And then it'll say here your download is starting and you just saw, oh, you didn't see. But you can see right now that I am downloading the APK. So once you have the APK, you now have to load it onto your phone. Well, the terminology is called sideload the app or APK onto your phone. And in order to do that, you have to be in USB debugging mode. What? What was that question? How do you get USB debugging mode? Oh, let me show you how to get it. So what you have to do is um, when you um, go into settings, excuse me for a second. Sorry about that. Had to adjust the zoom. So what you want to do is um, you want to go, it'll go into settings and then tap on about phone. Hey, tap on about phone. When you tap on that, tap on software information. When you go to here, look for build number. When you go to build number, you're going to tap on that about five, six, seven times. And then you see a little message here. Right here it says seven more steps or taps to developer mode. When you do it correctly, you'll get developer mode. Um, if you have a pin, um, set on your phone, you have to tap in your pin after you uh, tap the build number about seven, eight times. Tap in your pin, and then they'll tell you that developer mode is available. Then you want to go out of there, go back to your settings page, and then under about phone will be developer options. From here, you want to go to or look for USB debugging. Tap on here. When you tap on here, a box will pop up that'll say yes or no. Tap on yes and then you will be able to side low apps into your phone. So that is USB debugging. So you know you've done it right when you plug in your phone into your computer. And you heard the nice little chime that says it's connected. And then you really know it's connected, your phone is connected when you see Excuse the slow zoom. A nice little icon here that looks like a phone with headphones. And the name of your phone appears here, Galaxy 9. You know now that you are in USB debugging mode. Because without that, without you know clicking that and getting to develop options and doing the steps I just told you, you would not be able to, you would not even see this icon. So you double click on here. And then two indicators will pop up, one that says card, one that says phone. Double click on phone and then scroll to the bottom. You're gonna have a lot of folders. And then what you're gonna do is take that um, app or ABK that you just downloaded 
and you want to drag it into this box. So here it is right here. Then when you drag it into the box, you can disconnect your phone if you want to from your computer. And then from the phone, excuse the zoom, excuse the slow zoom. And then from your phone, you want to go to your Samsung folder or basically look for a, an app that is called My Files. Type in My Files. Let me go back to the very beginning. When you go, when you open it up, you'll see uh, two names here. The one that says internal storage, one that says SD card. Internal storage, that is what's on the inside of your phone. So you want to tap on here. And basically that um, box that you had on your computer is basically what this screen is right here. Scroll all the way down and you will see the icon or the um, ABK for the Samsung Plus app that you want to install. So you want to tap on here and then follow the instructions and you will install the app onto your phone. When you do install Samsung Plus onto your phone, here it is right here on my phone. You'll get this nice little screen here, but when you um, open it up for the first time, you'll get this image. This image basically will have a bar. Sorry again for the slow zoom. It'll have a bar that will say One UI with Android 9.0 on Galaxy S9, S9 Plus. Be one of the first to experience the new interface. So you want to click, uh, click on here and then they'll tell you to register. So you'll get to the screen right here. So you'll basically just tap on register, follow the instructions, and then you will be ready or registered to install the beta version of Samsung One UI. Now don't, oh, in order to get to the down, uh, where, you have to, where you have to download, you basically gotta go into settings again. And you gotta go to software update and excuse me for not having the zoom I definitely apologize for that zoom I'm sitting here thinking that it was all zoomed and clear so again let me uh, go back you want to go into settings software update and then you want to tap on download updates manually and when you do so and oh I forgot to mention wait about five ish minutes you can't get the update right away I uh, learned that the hard way because after I registered went into software updates clicked on manual uh, download manually it said that I was up to date up to date and I kept on trying to try to try I'm like wait a minute did I, did, I, did I do something wrong so what I read in the article after you know going on the internet to see if I did anything wrong it said that you have to wait a few minutes before the update appears and when it does appear it's gonna um, download the patch or download the beta of Samsung One UI and that is for me it's 1897.75 megabytes large so 1.8 gigabyte or 1.9 rounded up 1.9 gigabytes pretty much so you gotta wait for it to download and then you should be able to install it on your phone so that's what I'm about to do and I hope you enjoyed the video where it show I showed you how to get all this set up because like I said I didn't see any video that showed you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do so so if you like my video and you should and definitely uh, do this now because uh, once Samsung gets a certain amount of uh, people with the beta, they're gonna close it up. So get it now. Get it right now. And then when you get it, try it out. Uh, review it. Um, make some comments in my comment section on what you think about the review. Because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a review video on the interface, the new interface. Tell you what I think about it. So again, this is how you do it. 
And if you like the video, definitely leave a thumbs up. Um, leave comments in the comment section on, you know, if you have any other questions. But this is self uh, pretty uh, cut and dry, pretty simple. If I can do it, you can do it, no matter your age. So like I said, 40 and up is for my channel. But um, don't think that you have to be a, a millennial to understand how to use your devices. You know what I'm saying? It's not that difficult. So go ahead and start a beta. Let me know what you think about the beta in the comment section. And um, like I said, leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Let your friends know about my channel, family, whatever. And I hope to see you in my next video.